Welcome to ClickUp, the all-in-one productivity platform that's about to transform the way that you work. We're excited that you're here. Before we begin, as you watch this and all course videos associated with this content, we highly recommend that you follow along in your own workspace to familiarize yourself with the features and the best practices of ClickUp so you can get started in no time. In this video, we'll be diving into the heart of the ClickUp layout, the sidebar, your one-stop command center for all of your work, your tasks, your docs, and more. So let's get started. When you first log in, this is typically what you're going to see. Let's start with the sidebar on the left. The sidebar is where all of your work is located. You have a lot of options here that we're gonna cover and you can expand or collapse the sidebar to help you focus on your work at hand. The first area to cover is home. This is the place to start your day. If you're brand new to ClickUp, when you first log in, you'll see an empty home page, and you can add cards to help you stay focused on what's important to you. You can add all types of cards, such as lists of tasks, calendar items, and comments assigned to you, or even reminders to help you keep track of work. When each card gets added to home, it allows you to customize and resize it however you see fit. So here's a tip for you. If you have a blank slate, to get the most out of home and see your most important work, add the following cards, assigned to me, recents, and my work. This is a great place to start. And as mentioned previously, you can always change the dimensions here and customize the cards to be visually appealing on your homepage. Also, if your workspace has ClickUp AI enabled, go ahead and add the AI standup card and configure it from here. Standup uses ClickUp Brain to help you automate your daily progress, and you can choose whatever format you want and then generate a standup here. And whenever you come back to it, you can always refresh it. This is a great way to see what you've been working on as well as any upcoming work. Okay, going down the sidebar, the next section is the inbox. Inbox is the centralized place for you to communicate, respond, and catch up on updates across all of your different projects. You'll learn more about the inbox in a future video in this learning path. Next up are hubs. This is where you'll find an organized list of all your docs where you can collaborate with your team and store important work or even company wikis, and you can apply a template to help you get started. You'll also find dashboards for centralized reporting, whiteboards for real-time collaboration and ideation with your team, Clips, where you can record and share video messages asynchronously with your team. And timesheets, where you can keep track of all the time spent on your tasks each week. Okay, now it's time to talk about the ClickUp hierarchy. The hierarchy is where all of your work is organized. In the sidebar, you can easily navigate across your hierarchy to see your teams and your work. At the highest level, this is where you see all of your spaces. Most likely, your team leaders or your account admins are going to set these up for you. Depending on your company's size and setup, the way these spaces are named and structured may vary. However, spaces are typically named after your teams, departments, or even major projects. So here's a tip for you about spaces. As your team starts working in ClickUp, you'll notice a lot more spaces in your sidebar. If spaces get to be too much for you in your sidebar, go ahead and hide them to keep things clean. When you hide them from your view, you're still able to access them. They'll just be removed from the sidebar and you can add them back at any time. This allows you to declutter your hierarchy and reduce the time it takes to find the things you need. Let's say I'm on the marketing team and I don't need to be checking on teams like project management, sales, or even professional services. All I need to do is click the three dots and then choose to hide the space. To get any hidden space back into your sidebar, all you need to do is select View All Spaces here and then choose to show the different spaces in your sidebar. Let's go ahead and keep things the way they are for now with all the spaces hidden. Heading back to the sidebar on the left, now you'll see that my sidebar is so much cleaner and easier to navigate. Okay, before we go, something else to note here about the sidebar is that it's not just for organization. It's also functional as well. 
when you go up layers, such as folders or spaces, you could actually see across more work and access it with the click of a button. In this video, we introduce you to the sidebar and the ClickUp hierarchy. Go ahead and check out the sidebar for yourself and then come back for the next video. We can't wait for you to get started.